Hello, welcome to Hikes, Pikes and Sites. Today I am in the wonderful park, Stamford Park, sandwiched in between Ashton and Staley Bridge. Uh, now this park is an absolutely fantastic place. It's for everybody in Tameside to enjoy. Uh, and I used to come here as a kid. Uh, I still come here now with my kids and my family. Uh, it's, it's, it's a beautiful place, well maintained, and it has something for everybody. Originally in 1668, this park was a deer park owned by the Earl of Stamford. Uh, and it was just it was just there for deer and, and his leisure. But in 1856, the cotton workers in the area, I don't know if they wanted somewhere to relax on the day off. So they've written a letter to the Ashton reporter and it was requested that they raise their own money to, to have this park as their own public park uh, for somewhere to relax. And they did that and it opened, I think it opened in... 1873 it opened, yeah, 1873 it opened, and when it was opened, 80,000 people from all of Tameside turned up to watch its unveiling, and it's been here ever since. It is such a lovely place to come and visit, so I suggest you do that when it's sunny, safely by the way, keeping your social distancing in mind, but what I, I recommend everyone come and visit this park, not even from Tameside, if you're from anywhere, come and visit this park, it is absolutely beautiful. So I'm gonna leave you to it now, I'm going to show you around the park and explain a bit on each artefact that all oh, that I know of anyway <laughs> um, and take you back through some of my childhood memories. Here we go. So here we are in the play part of Stamford Park. I've come nice and early because obviously you don't want to be filming while families are out with the kids. It's, it's just not good courtesy, is it? Um, so yeah, so I thought I'll get up nice and early um, where I know the park's going to be empty, hence the bags under the eyes. And... Um, show you what it's all about i mean this has changed drastically since i was a kid i mean it's changed twice since i was a kid when i first came here just over there where that block paving picnic area is and here there was a, a paddling pool with a water fountain in many a times stub your toe in there it bloody hurt but yeah it's uh it's changed a lot i think it's it has changed for the better because it's a lot safer, but you couldn't beat it back in the day. Having a paddle, running round in your Y fronts in the water, then jumping on swing, queuing up for miles for the swing, because it was such a popular park that it is now, actually. It's a uh, it's very busy, very busy, busy park now. But it has got some good, uh, some good little attractions for the kids. So I'm going to spin the camera around and show you what there is to offer. So if you are watching this, you've never been to Stamford Park, it's, uh, it's in between Ashton and Staley Bridge. Bring your kids down, it's such a lovely place. And there's a lot to offer, which I will show you in this vlog. So I'm gonna spin you around and show you what we've got. So here we are, we have the sandpit area for the younger kids. And it is well maintained on a regular basis. So there's no need to worry about letting your kids play in there. It is really good actually, really good. What they've done. We've got some swings there. Obviously, as you can see, there's only one on each one. Smart move by the council because that's uh, COVID reasons. Where the pool used to be, we've got a nice picnic area. I think, I'm not sure. I think water might come out of there. I'm not, I'm not sure, don't quote me on that. Um, but yeah, if you do a bit of roller skating and if water does come out, roller skate through the water. <laughs> Why not? Um, down there, is hang on down there is the bowling green area which i'm going to show you in a minute so let's have a look what we got here got another swing there obviously covid reasons they've took them down they've only one there which again best be safe uh nice slide there the zip wire which uh i'll have a quick go of it after another tire swing climbing area Nice soft play area, so the kids do fall. They're not going to hurt themselves. They thought of everything in this park. And on the, over in the distance there is the dingle, which I'm going to take you in as well. That's a, a, a really, really nice walk as well. I'm going to take you through the old route. As you can see there, family of squirrels. I don't know if you can see, actually. I'll let you zoom in. And here we have the zip wire. Right, well, no one's looking. I'm going to have a go. It's been a it's been a it's been a while since I've been on a zip wire. Oh come on! Oh god, it's stuck. 
here we go. I think I broke it. Is that as far as it's going? Here we go. My bad. Now if I drop my phone now while I'm doing this, I'll regret it. Are you ready? Here we go. <laughs> And that's it. Kids love it. So there you go. That's the play area of Stamford Park. And uh, let's see if we can get close to these squirrels, which I think is scrapping. There's one on the tree there. It is full of wildlife in here. Absolutely full. Well, they're not shy, are they? They're not shy. There's one. Up the tree, we can see it. Look at that little thing. They're not shy. Oh, that one is. Camera shy. Right. So, yeah, this park, when I was a kid, born in the 80s. Shh, don't tell anyone. Um, it was it was a lot different then. This this was just a grassed area, and people used just to eat the butties on there and everything. It, all the park end was down that end, uh, table and chairs, and that that was it. But um, it had the old swing seesaws and everything. And I'm talking old seesaws where if you didn't get on properly, you hurt yourself. But that was just the way things were back then. And uh, but we loved it. We still loved it. It was changed in the mid 90s. They put like a train in the sand pit and all that, uh, which was brilliant. Made it all safer, modern. Uh, and then they changed it again in the nantes, not nantes, in the nantes to what it is now. now. I haven't got exact dates, but it, it's changed twice since I was a kid. And it is a well looked after park, I must say. It's probably one of the better parks in Tameside. Um, we've got here the new basketball cages and football cages now it's tarmac so don't come with football boots and if you want to have a kick about in here obviously after covid unless there's just six of you but yeah we've got basketball courts there yeah uh, i'm not going basketball hoops football nets wickets for cricket now these be tennis court ah there tennis court and a nice tennis court there again all this is tarmac um so if you're going to be playing tennis or football or cricket or anything in the cage wear trainers don't come with studs or blades or whatever because you'll slip so yeah there we go tennis courts there lovely so yeah there's something surreal about being in the park this early it really is nice nice and fresh morning i mean i don't know if you can see the sun where's the sunrise sunrise is over there obscured by the trees and the cage but it is nice i'll get the drone up after i've already got some footage of the chads and the boating lake which i will throw in and um, but i'll get some of the park so yeah i'm going to shut up have a quick hyperlapse round for you so you can have a quick look from the main gate and i'll uh, be here with some interesting facts for you bye bye I'm at this lovely pavilion part of the 
of the park now. And you could do all sorts here, you could put little concerts on, little music festivals, uh, brass bands if you're into that thing. It's lovely, I mean you could have a band up there. Up there's a nice little grass ramp. You could have people, a band at the top, and all people sat there having the butties, obviously after, after this pandemic's completely finished. I've just been speaking to uh, one of the park workers who's been here for 20 years, cleaning the place and looking after the place. And he says it's brilliant. He said, also said there, uh, which is which is nice to hear, we've not had the problems here that we've had in other parks around the UK since they've lifted the restrictions. They've not had the uh, the idiots coming here littering and throwing beer cans and gas. I mean, you do find the odd gas bottle and it's disgusting. And I wish you idiots who are taking them gas bottles realise it's bad for you. Not only that, it's bad for the environment. Animals pick them up as well. If you're going to be gas heads and sniff gas, put the stuff in the bin. Come on. I mean, it's a dirty habit anyway, but at least clean your rubbish up. But like I said, I've only seen the odd one or two, and the park cleaners are doing a fantastic job picking up after you lot as well. So sort it out. If you're going to sniff that rubbish, sniff it in your bedrooms at home and put it in your bins. Disgusting. Anyway, that's me telling you off. Here we have the bowling greens at Stamford Park. Been here a very, very long time, very well maintained. They take the bowling very seriously here. What you want to do on this vlog is count how many times I say nice and beautiful because I can't stop saying it. Right, so now we're approaching, which is a very sore spot. This is the only thing wrong at this park. It's the conservatory. It's a very, very controversial political point at the moment. Now, this was absolutely amazing when I was a kid. Tropical plants, everything. And I don't know if you can see, everything's just left to die now in there. It's, it's not good. It's, it, it's, it's, it needs a lot of work doing to it. It needs a lot of repair work doing to it. The main structure's fine. The brickwork's fine. Uh, some of the timber framing's fine. It just needs some new glass, a bit, bit of gutter in, liquor paint, and uh, the plant's maintaining. Uh, new plants now, because they're, they're all thingy, but they're all dead. But there's talks, the council want to knock it down, but everybody in Tameside wants it reopening, maintaining. They said it's going to be at high cost. I'm not being funny. The people of Tameside raised the money for the park a few hundred years ago, I'm sure the people of Tameside could raise the money to get this beautiful place restored. It's not, I mean, it's sheets of glass, a bit of timber framing, a bit of TLC and some plants. It, it, it's, it's not, it's not going to cost millions, is it? Come on. Now, let me tell you this. You can't knock it down. The park is publicly owned, yeah? We pay council tax, we pay our rates for use to maintain it but there's no way you can knock it down. We don't want it knocking down. So, maintain it. Even charge 50p to get in. If it, get it fixed up and charge 50 people, pay 50p to come in, and that'll keep with the upkeep. I bet you get about 500 people a week in here. You know what I mean? It's, it's one of them things. Just, let's get it going, let's get it built, get it redone. That's the only thing, the only I saw, the only thing spoiling this park is this. And we want it open. We want it fixed up. I want to bring my kids there. I used to love coming here. I remember we used to call it the hot house. We used to come in and it used to be sweltering with your tropical plants and everything. It was so nice. And now it's just, it's, it, it, it's really sad to see this lovely part, part of the park just left. And well, councillors are too busy arguing what to do and, and how to do it. Get it done. We want it doing. Get, get, your, get your little committee together with the town, with the town teams and all that, Staley Bridge and Ashton, work together instead of against each other. Organise fundraising events, yeah? Once it's done, charge 50p or a quid to get in. It's a quid. People won't mind about paying a quid or 50p. And that money that you take on the door to let people in will do its upkeep, yeah? We want it open, get it open. 
get it fixed. I'm a tradesman. I don't mind giving up my time, voluntary, to help fix it up. And I'm sure hundreds of tradespeople in Tameside will do the same thing. You get the materials, we'll build it. Yeah? Let's get it open. It, it's so sad to see that. It shouldn't be fenced off. It shouldn't be locked up. It shouldn't be closed. I mean, I mean, look at it. It's, it's just, it's a waste. I can't, I wonder if I can reach. Let me see if I can reach. I'm a bit of a short ass. Oh, no, I'm too small. I'm too sharp. But let's get it open, yeah? Come on, let's work together. People of Tameside and the council, use your loaf. Just flower beds everywhere as well. Let's go back, let's go back to the, the vlog on the park now. We've got the dingle that way. We've just been up there to the cafe and the bowling area. The play area and the toilets are up there. Let's just have a quick walk round before we head to the dingle. Now, I don't know how true it is. When I was a kid, I was always told this was a meteorite. Yeah, and I tell my kids the same thing. It's a meteor, it's from outer space. Now, it doesn't feel very rocky. It does feel a bit metallic. Uh, and it looks quite metallic. So I don't know, it could, it, could, it, it could be a meteorite. But bring your kids to Stamford Park and have your photo talk with it and tell them it's a meteorite from outer space. Yeah, that's what I do. Because it, it bloody well could be, you don't know, do you? You never know. And hopefully, if you've never been to this park before, you watch this vlog, yeah, you'll come and bring your kids and have a good time with them. It's lovely, honestly. Bring some sandwiches. Um, anyway, if you do like the vlogs and you, and you want to know more on the areas in and around Tameside, nice places to visit and a bit of history, hit subscribe. Subscribe to my channel and the notification bell so you get notified when my vlogs come on or my drone videos. I do drone videos as well. Um, but it's getting chance because I'm working all the bloody time. The Jubilee gates there, they were erected to commemorate the Queen's Jubilee. I don't know which one. So yeah, but lovely. Oh, it's cold. Cut love a willow tree there. There's a nice duck pond. Got the ducks there. Oh, camera shy. Yeah. Look at that, that's nice, isn't it? Remember when I was a kid, that's with old trees and everything. There used to be a rabbit run up there as well. I don't know, I, I think it's gone now. That, that went a few years ago. But yeah, we had a rabbit run. <coughs> Walk round, I'll show you to the Avery, which is obviously it's closed because of the pandemic. Um, but there's, just, there's so much to do, oh, look at that. All sorts of wildlife and animals in here. Morning. So I mean, that's that's what I mean. Like they they're out cleaning and looking after the place for you, and they do a bloody good job because I haven't seen any rubbish. Like I said, they had one or two gas canisters, which there shouldn't be anywhere. You shouldn't be taking it anywhere. It's it's awful. So if you're gonna do that. Do it in your own house. Don't do it in this beautiful part of Tameside. Right, so, I tell you what, it's a bloody good walk as well. If you want to get in shape, just have a walk around the park. One thing a Stamford Park is known for, tulips. They always have loads of tulips in the park. 
I think it's right, just further down there. We'll go there in a minute. But they're nice, aren't they? I've never seen them before. There's some tulips, I think. I think they are. If I'm wrong, put in the comments below, what, if, if, if they're not tulips, put in the comments below what they are, because they are nice. Uh, yeah, there used to be a rabbit run here years ago. Definitely used to be around here. Uh, it's gone now. But used to stand there with the fence and there's rabbits everywhere. Here's the aviary. Which, uh, yeah, it's close to the public because of corner. But they've still got, oh, there you go. But they've still got the birds in. Is it parakeets or whatever they're called? Yeah, it's nice. I think they had, a, they had a peacock in here once upon a time. Chickens and all sorts. Oh, there, we, there they are. Hens, chickens. Kids love it. Bring kids. Look at that, that that's a punk rocky one, isn't it? <laughs> so yeah, so there's the Avery. Which is nice. Uh, but yeah, here's the here's the gardens now. Which like I said, this I'm I'm sure they're tulips. If they're not, like I say, put in the comments below. But I might be wrong. Probably am. All these flower beds here, well maintained. I mean look at that. Just precision gardening. And if you like that sort of thing. Come have a look. Don't be shy. Just somewhere nice to, to come and sit and relax. Bloody hell, that's been there as long as I can remember. <laughs> if it's raining, somewhere it run under. We've got the stocks, which is what I tell my kids. They go in, they carry on. Being naughty, you're going in the stocks. Yeah, there's the stocks. What's that say? Mercy of the mob. They must face humiliation, mockery, pain for their crimes. <laughs> Very good. So there you go. There's the stocks. Let's have a little walk down here. Back towards the meteor, right? And then we'll go and uh, take you to the dingle. Some lovely rose bushes there as well. I mean, just imagine a hot summer's day or spring day like it is now. It's cold, but you know what I mean? Imagine it's hot. Walking down here with kids or even with, with dog, as long as you bring your dog poo bag to pick up the mess and just, just drinking all this in. And like I say, you're sandwiched between Ashton and Staley Bridge, so you think, do a bit of shopping in one of the towns and come to the park and chill out. There's plenty to do in Ashton and Staley Bridge and Duckingfield, Mosley, Hyde, Denton. <laughs> Same side's full of amazing things and places to go. And this is just one of them. But I'd say probably this is one of the better ones. <laughs> if you know what I mean, it's, uh, it's lovely. Look, screws over there. Just uh, chilling out, coming towards us. See if we can get it over here. Where is it? There it is. It's coming. Come on. They're not shy, are they? Come on. I think years ago, years ago, they wouldn't come near you. But I think they're so used to the the public now that they know they're not. We're not going to harm them. I've seen kids the other week when I was here with my kids last week when it was really hot. They were feeding them. <laughs> you know what I mean? They come right up and take food out of your hands. It's it just shows the relationship in this part between nature and the people. Animals and the people, it's nice. Right, let's go to the dingle. 
So here's something for you. Little challenges for kids to do. And it's all free. And so you're not only having a good time round here and enjoying the park's beauty, you, you, you're educating the kids as well about nature and how to look after the place and you know what I mean? There's things, things for everybody. Kids, adults, teenagers, you know what I mean? It, like I say, it is nice to see, I love that tree, big Christmas tree there. It is nice to see that they are being looked after by not just the park rangers and the council, by the, the public as well. Right, we're in the dingle. And you won't think that now you're in, like I say again, you're in the middle of Thames in Stalebridge and Ashton. And the main road's just, just behind me. I mean, you've got the, this is, look at this. I could sit here all day. Obviously it's early spring, so obviously not everything's in bloom yet, but this place in summer, when all the leaves are out and all the flowers are out and all the plants are blooming, I tell you, there's no better place in the world than this place. I mean, look at the snowdrops there. Again, I could be wrong on the flowers, so in the comments below, correct me if I'm wrong what plants are what. Because <laughs> I, I ain't no Alan Titmarsh. Uh, but yeah, look at this. Victorian built that. And still standing for your pleasure today. There's all sorts of lovely, lovely things to look at. Nice waterfalls. Just, I mean, look, even the water's clean. You can see to the bottom. I love the reflection. Now, are these rockeries part natural, but I know were actually altered in the early 1900s. Um, you can see the old mortar holding them together. I think it was to help the natural habitat of animals in the park. With Obviously with the Industrial Revolution booming, they were building houses and mil more mills around here and whatnot. And they was worried about the animals, so they did this, which was brilliant. Uh, even back then, looking after the animals and stuff. So, yeah, making habitats for little animals. Hello, you. You want to get on the vlog? <laughs> Nice place for dogs to walk. Morning. So yeah, another pond there. Just nice, isn't it? So peaceful. Even through the day when it's at its max capacity, it's so peaceful. A lot of different types of birds around here as well. There's a the Stanford Boating Lake over the road. I'm not going to go on today um, for obvious reasons because it's locked. I'd rather do the boating lake than looking at on the boats. So I'll do another vlog on the boating lake, just a small one. Um, but yeah, there's a uh, errands around here. A lot of pigeons, magpies, wood pigeons by the way, not them dirty city pigeons that nick your, nick your chips. Uh, geese. Swans, uh, loads of different breeds, I don't bloody know what they're all called. But yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Nature at its best. Again, this is just a proof that old can meet new. So you've got all the modern houses, roads, just up there. And you've got this down here for everyone's enjoyment. Now, there's something I want to show you up here. It's a really good culvert. It's from the Stanford Boating Lake and it comes down into this and it feeds this. But it starts at the Chads, which also starts further up in the countryside. So the water from, 
top Mosley, eh, sorry, bottom Mosley, top Mosley, and all the farms and stuff like that, all the natural rainwater filters through to the Chad, filters through to the boating lake, and filters through to here. So this water's actually come for about, God, a good, a good 10, 10, 15 mile. Which is interesting, isn't it? You didn't know that, did you? I didn't until I Googled it. <laughs> Look at that, nice sunrise now, through the trees. Just shows you how early I've come here. <sighs> nice cup of coffee when I get in. I'll have all the weeds a bit. You can hear the geese there, flying over to the boating lake. Lovely little stream right through the dingle. So yeah, this is a nice one on hikes, pikes and sites. Very, very close to my heart. Like I said, my dad used to bring us here as a kid, quite a lot. Uh, now I bring my kids, and hopefully they'll bring their kids. And uh, this park will be around in another 100 years time, 200 years time. And it'll, no doubt it'll change again. New rides, attractions and stuff. I mean, look at that, I love that. I mean, I think this bit, the start of the dingle, as you come off the main road where the boating lake is, could do with some plants. Oh, hang on, there's another one of the thing for the kids to do. Can you find a smooth rock on your walk today? Now to an adult they'll think, oh, there's loads of smooth rocks, but to a kid, finding that smooth rock will be the highlight of the day because they've done it, it's a challenge for them. So let's, let's bring them down. Bring your kids down, get them in the fresh air. As long as you're staying two metres away from everyone else, and they're not breaking COVID rules, why not? Beautiful, beautiful place for them. So now, we're at uh, the culvert. And as a kid, all you wanted to do was slide down the bloody thing. But you can't, obviously, because it's dangerous. But yeah, let's just show you. I, mean, I love this wall that's been built. Made to look like logs. Lovely stonework. And there's the, the culvert. It's the overspill from the boating lake. Runs to a nice culvert there, which is, needs a good clean out by the looks of it. But yeah, and there's the old waterfall. That's not running anymore. That's the old culvert. So yeah, there we go. More rocker is there from the 1900s. And if you look, there's another one of them challenges for the kids to do. So bring the family down. It's nice. Now I've got to show you this. I think you might think it's boring. Oh, before I do. Looks like something from the Game of Thrones that bench, doesn't it? Now before I show you this. Now you might think this is boring, but I think this is a work of art. Look at that banister. It's like a, something from a, a kid's storybook, an enchanted forest book, you know what I mean? It's just, I love a bit of architecture, that, innit? Amazing. I bet it took bloody ages to build that. Goes all the way up. Lovely, isn't it? And here we are, we're at the end of the dingle. I mean, this part of the park is amazing. You don't really appreciate it from the ground, but when you see it from an aerial perspective, 
It's like I've gone down that rabbit hole and I'm in a scene from Alice in Wonderland. I mean, just, just look how nice it is. So that concludes the vlog for today on Stamford Park. If you like the video, hit subscribe, hit the like button and hit the notification icon. Um, like I said, there's a, there is a lovely boat in Lake back there. I've not done a vlog on that yet because it's closed, but I'll put a link in the description on the, the drone video I did last year of the boat in Lake so you can see how nice it is and the chads as well. Um, so you get to watch that video as well once you've watched this one. So yeah, hit subscribe, hit the notification icon, share it if you want. I will see you all next time on Hikes, Pikes and Sights. So stay safe, peace out.